Contestant number three, Shannon Michelle Gibson. Contestant number four, Penny Fay Pace. Contestant number five, Meredith Page Owens. Contestant number six, Michelle Pope. Contestant number seven, Stephanie Smith. And contestant number eight, Teresa Ann Todd. And those are our eight lovely young ladies, one of whom is going to be a new Miss Bacon Island Welcome. District 5 schools, and we're just real pleased that that is going on. But during that time, we're going to have a little inconvenience, one of which is that our big auditorium in our high school is not usable for this year. So Welford Elementary School was very, very nice and gracious to let us come in and use their cafeteria auditorium here tonight. And we want to say a big thank you to them for allowing that. This afternoon, we had a little miss, young miss pageant that went on here, and you're going to have an opportunity to meet the winners of that pageant a little later in our show this evening. But right now we have a very experienced panel of judges that have been with our eight contestants today and they have uh, been interviewing them. I think each one of our young ladies had seven minute interviews with our judges and they had an opportunity to get to know them and have a close up appraisal. So now I'd like to introduce our panel of judges to you and let you give them a warm welcome. Not that it isn't already warm in this tonight. But we have them from all across the state of South Carolina. First of all, a native of Greenville, which is very close to us. And in your program, you have a lengthy resume on each one of them. So tonight, I'm just going to put, give you a little concise uh, effort on my part to tell you a little something about them. Uh, serving as executive director of the Miss Rock Hill pageant and also on our approved list of judges for the state of South Carolina, let's welcome our first judge, Mr. William Rickson. William. Originally from Lexington, South Carolina, and a former Miss Rock Hill, who I used to watch perform and all. I've not seen her in a good while. She was a singer with America's Youth in Concert, which traveled to Europe in 1981. A very talented young lady, and it's nice to have her here on our judges panel. Let's welcome Wendy Lee Wingard. Wendy. You <laughs> going to a beautiful lady. Our next judge is from Westminster. He is a founding member of the Miss Oconee County pageant and is too on the recommended judges list for South Carolina. And he did, used to do a beautiful job when he started the Miss Oconee County pageant. Let's welcome Terry L. Baker. Terry. 
And from Irma, South Carolina, a chairman and director of the Miss North Charleston pageant and also on the list of recommended judges in South Carolina. Welcome, Tony Key. Tony, good to see you. Quite sure you aren't a celebrity. You look like that guy on TV. You really do. Do people tell you that? They do. Well, he's not cocky at the least. <laughs> it's whenever I call you. Okay, very good. Now, also from Columbia, South Carolina, a member of the Miss South Carolina Host Committee and also a member of the Preferred Judges List in South Carolina, let's welcome Billy Jones. Billy, it's great to see you. Dress. You know that, don't you? Why? Because it's purple. This child loves purple better than anybody you will ever see unless it's Elizabeth Taylor. And of course, when we were in Atlantic City, a lot of people told her that she has very much the coloring and a uh, pretty face and all of Elizabeth Taylor. But she loves it. Uh, no, not as many husbands, okay. Well, I know that you just came from the Columbia Northeast pageant where you MC. Tell us some other things you've been doing. I have judged a barbecue contest, that was interesting. I judged a dirty tennis shoe contest in Spartanburg before Atlantic City. Of course, you all know about Atlantic City. And let's see, what else have I done that's been pretty interesting? I've done a, uh, been at a fair, sung at a fair, and that's where I judged the, the barbecue contest with the pig right out there. <laughs> Lots of interesting things. It's amazing what a Miss South Carolina does, right? Just amazing. Well, one of the, the things that's coming up, of course, is the Carolina Carousel. You have that coming up. That takes her away from family at Thanksgiving and all, but she has some other things. And she's going to be at the Community Cash Food Fair this weekend. So if you want to get a bag of food and see some good entertainment and come by and uh, get an autograph from her, then go on down to the Memorial Auditorium in Spartanburg on Sunday. We'll see you there, too. Great. Let's give her another round of applause and she's going to go and view.
hat we all need to put on a swimsuit, and that's what we're going to present to you now, our swimsuit competition, beginning with contestant number one, Mary Angelic Cox. Angie is 5'1", weighs 105 pounds.
has dark brown hair, brown eyes. Stephanie enjoys traveling, reading, and shopping. And along with those, she finds time to enjoy playing the piano. Contestant number seven, Stephanie Smith. Contestant number eight, let's welcome Teresa and Todd. <laughs> Teresa is 5'3", weighs 108 pounds. She has brown hair, brown eyes. She enjoys dancing, singing, and modeling. Also enjoys in seeing pageants. <laughs> Contestant number eight, Teresa and Todd. <laughs> and those are our eight lovely young ladies in swimsuit competition. They're going to be back very shortly to present their individual talents to you. to Barnett.
congratulations to you. You certainly look pretty tonight. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Lauren. Lauren. Thank you very much. And now we will let's welcome our luminous Duncan Lyman Welford. She's Melody Gambrell. And I understand that this is her first crown to win. And she's real excited because, you know, I introduced her sister earlier. I told you it was a little miniature Barbara Mandrell. Don't you think this one even looks like a little bit like Barbara Mandrell? It sort of runs in the family. Her parents are Stephen and Cheryl Gambrell. And they have a whole family of pretty little girls. Thank you very much. And last, our young miss, Duncan Lyman Welford, is Andrea Holliday. Her parents are Jim and Ravonda Holiday, and all four of these Miss will be reigning this year and doing some exciting things along with our new Miss Duncan Lyman Welford when she's crowned. Thank you very much. We're proud of all of you. Thank you. 
can't see. Mary Angeline Cox. Okay, and we're going to ask this pretty young lady a question. I'm going to repeat it twice to make sure you understand. Okay, Angie, who is the silver fox in the political world? Who is the silver fox in the political world? Okay, just a minute. so that they can hear, because I know that this audience does not know who the Silver Fox is. So, I, there's a place over on the highway called the Silver Fox, right? <laughs> over in Greer, and I don't want them to think that that's what it's about. So, will you answer that question again? The Silver Fox is Barbara Bush. Thank you. Angie is the daughter of Reverend and Mrs. John Cox. She's a senior at Spartan High School. And she's had special training in voice, piano, drama, and modeling. Contestant number one, Mary Angeline Cox. <laughs> Contestant number two, Christina Marcel Barnett. Hey, Christy, you get up real close to that microphone. And your question is, and I'll repeat it twice for you, what is the most difficult thing about operating your own business? The most difficult thing about operating one's own business is learning to deal with the public. Learning to deal with the public. We're hard to get along with sometimes, aren't we? Especially when you're dealing with your money. There you go, right. Okay, Christy's the daughter of Gary and Karen Barnett. And she's a sophomore at Central Westland College. She's had 12 years of piano, and she also plays the trumpet. It's contestant number two, Christina Marcel Barnett. <laughs> Welcome contestant number three, Shannon Michelle Gibson. And you all can applaud anytime you want to. I know you get engrossed in that beauty and forget to applaud. Okay, Shannon, I'm going to get the mic up. Let's go ahead and I'll give you time. There we go. Started off a little low for most of the girls. Your question is, how do you get volunteers involved? I think that you can get volunteers involved by opening a youth center and helping all the, the youth to get more oriented with the public and helping just everyone to get oriented with the public. Okay, thank you. Shannon is the daughter of Vincent and Sandra Gibson. She's a junior at Spartanburg Technical College. She plays the piano. She's had experience in tap and ballet and also gymnastics. Contestant number three, Shannon Michelle Gibson. <laughs> Contestant number four is Penny Faye Pace. Okay, Penny, here we go. Do you feel that Jim Baker got a fair sentence? Do you feel that Jim Baker got a fair sentence? Well, I think 120 years is about enough that anybody can handle, but 45 years and a minimum of security, I think just because it's just he's a professor Christian that he did a crime, so he should pay his dues too. Thank you. <laughs> Here is the daughter of Paul and Lucy Place. She's a senior at Presbyterian College. She's had special training in piano, trumpet, and modeling. Contestant number four, Penny Faye Pace. <laughs> Contestant number five, let's welcome Meredith Page Owens. <laughs> okay, Meredith, listen very close. This is a little lengthy. You have been selected by Governor Carol Campbell. What would you do to improve education and what can we do as board members and teachers to improve it? 
if I was chosen by Carol Campbell, I would go and I would like to um, make the classes smaller so that each student can get individual help, more individual help. Okay, thank you very much. Mary Bates, the daughter of Ken and Eleanor Owens, and she's a sophomore at Spartanburg Methodist College. She's had special training in dance, clogging, and piano. She's contestant number five, Meredith Page Owen. <laughs> contestant number six is Marion Michelle Pope. Okay, Michelle, step right up to the mic because we want to make sure we hear. Okay. President Bush just vetoed a bill. What was it and how do you feel about it? Want me to repeat? Okay. President Bush just vetoed a legislative bill that would prohibit the federal funding of abortions in the case of rape and incest. And I disagree with this because I feel that people should take responsibility for their acts, but in the case of rape and incest, these people have no choice. She's a sophomore at Furman University. She's had special training in voice, piano, and dance. Contestant number six, Marion Michelle Pope. Contestant number seven welcomes Stephanie Smith. with the Charlotte Hornets, and who did they just trade? I got involved with the Charlotte Hornets when, I, when I'm a sophomore at Queens College when I met Mr. George Sheehan, and I interviewed with him, and he told me that I'm the only person that he had not ever if intimidated that was young, and so he offered me an internship, and I took it on the spot, and um, I did everything from being a gopher for the opposing media teams to escorting Hugo the Hornets to lots of appearances. And they recently just traded Robert Reed to the Phoenix Sun. Thank you. <laughs> Stephanie's the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Don Smith. She's a senior at Queens College. She's had special training in piano, dance, drama, and on the organ. Contestant number seven, Stephanie Smith. Contestant number eight is Teresa Ann Todd. Okay, Teresa, we want you to tell us about your most memorable day in being a secretary. My most memorable day was when my lawyer left work early, so I decided that I would leave work early also, only he came back a few minutes later to find that I was not there. <laughs> and you're going to leave us right there, right? Okay. Teresa is the daughter of Phyllis Boone and Herbert L. Todd, Jr. She's a sophomore at Greenville Technical School. She's had four years of baton and two years of chorus. Contestant number eight, Teresa Ann Todd. <laughs> And those are our lovely young ladies in evening gown. And as you
I never knew what an exciting and challenging task I had before me. Being your Miss Duncan Lyman Welford has been the most exciting experience in my life. I have had the opportunity to make numerous appearances at local festivals, parades, and schools. I have entertained with the Lyman Senior Citizens and at local fundraisers. It has truly been a very busy year for me. And I must say that it was the people of Duncan, Lyman, and Welford that made this special year in my life extra special. Preparing myself for the state pageant has been the most challenging experience. And if I had to do it all over again, I would not change a thing. It has helped me grow so much. To all the contestants tonight, I wish my luck. To the winner, I hope your year will be as fulfilling as mine. All of this would have been impossible had it not been for the special people in my life. To all the Duncan Lyman Welfare Pageant Committee who have helped me along the way and who have become some of my dearest friends. Cindy, Marlene, Michelle, Jeanette, Donnie and Joyce, Larry and Sissy, Wayne, Rod, and Rita. I thank you for all the love and support you have shown me. You will all remain in my cherished memories forever. To all my family, you are so important to me. I cannot possibly express how much your love and support have meant this year. I must thank individually, Mama, Daddy, and Pete. And I can only say how truly lucky I am to always have you by my side. Thank you so much for allowing me to wear your crown for a year. Duncan, Lyman, and Welford are very unique places and will always have a special place in my heart. My solo song title says it all. I'm going to live till I die. So let me leave you with this thought. If there is something you desperately want, go for it. Be yourself, set goals, dream dreams, and always remember, smile, and the world almost always smiles back. Ginger Fowler, Ms. Duncan Lila Love, and I'm you, sure that I speak for everyone on the pageant committee as well as the communities of Duncan Lyman and Welford in saying that we are so thankful that we had an opportunity for her to touch our lives this year. I have some other thank yous for you. R.C. Coker has been our security tonight, and we want to thank King Outfits and K.T. Pebbles for the dancers' outfits, along with Westinghouse and Curtis Mathis, Charlotte Cobb, Marshall Robinson and of course WSBA and we just want to thank you the audience for coming and supporting the Miss Duncan Lyman Welford pageant and now at this time I'd like to introduce the chairman of the Miss Duncan Lyman Welford pageant as I go across and hopefully our judges chairman has something for me let's welcome Marlene Brown thank you Becca. tonight we would like to express our thanks to this lady who does a lot for everyone in our communities she not only does the Miss Duncan Lyman Welford for us as an advisor, but she does many things for many people. So tonight, Rita, from the Miss Duncan Lyman Welford Committee, this is our love. I didn't know that was for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's certainly my pleasure. Okay. You don't have anything, you're not ready for me, right? Do you know that that is a quick way to not be judge's chairman next year? Did you know that? That is exactly right. You remember in Atlantic City not too long ago, we had a Miss South Carolina, and of course Kimberly identifies with this because we teased her all the whole week that we were up there. Remember last year, Anna Graham, who did a beautiful job but did not make top 10 and all week she said you know I'm not even going to be recognized for anything I know I'm not going to be recognized for anything they're going to see me say hello I'm in South Carolina and that's going to be the extent of it and of course out of all the 50 girls Gary Collins went to her on the stage to talk to her and um, 
of course, she did a beautiful job, but she said she was flabbergasted. So this year, Kimberly didn't worry about that because she walked away with uh, the talent preliminary on Friday night. And of course, we think she should have walked away with the top 10 place because definitely think she should have made top 10. And one of the things that's been so difficult for she and I and other people from it the Miss South Carolina pageant to explain is how she didn't because she is just a bundle of talent. I had a lady that called me up the other night and I'd like to And I'd like you to present that to contestant number six, Marion Michelle Cope. Congratulations. And now for our talent presentation that is being presented by Michelle Hammett, who is our program chairman, and she's responsible for the beautiful program that you have with you tonight. Michelle, thank you for all your hard work. And we'll present that to contestant number seven, Stephanie Smith. Now I'd like to present a young lady to you by the name of Diane Davison, and she is here representing United Carolina Bank of Duncan. And this lady, along with her bank, provide our trophies and our crowns, and we just want to say a tremendous thank you to you and your bank. And along with Diane is Marlene Brown, who has served as our chairman this year for Miss Duncan Lyman Welford Pageant, and let's thank her too for the hard job she's done. And those two are going to be assisting in the crowning and the presentations. Beginning with our second runner-up, and that is this evening, contestant number six, Marion Michelle Post. Congratulations, Michelle. And our first runner-up, congratulations, young lady. We're all ready for that. We present our first runner-up, contestant number one, Mary Angela Post. Congratulations to you. Now welcome with me please our new Miss Duncan Lyman Welford contestant. Well, let's say I don't have a contestant number here, but it's Stephanie Smith. And she will be representing this area in the Miss South Carolina pageant in Greenville in July. And we invite all of you to come along and support her and the area. We want to thank you again. You've been a